Hello, air signs. How are you? The Queen of Swords turned over. That was unusual. All right. We are going to begin with Libra because they ended up last the other day. So, <laughs> so Libra, I told you you were last but not least. We're going to start with you today. Then we're going to move on to Aquarius and then Gemini. Libra, this is for January 10th. Energies could go on a few days beyond. If it does not re resonate with you because it is a general reading, check your moon and rising signs for additional insight. Libra, 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 January 10th. We have the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups. Page of Cups. Wow, that's a lot of water energy. A lot of water energy. And the Devil. Okay. A lot of water energy. You Okay, so this is a Capricorn card. I'm just going to say it because, because we have so much water here. I'm going to mention it anyway. But um, let's also keep in mind that... Um, the energies of these cards can anybody can exhibit them at any given point in time so four of cups is cancer three of cups is cancer page of cups is pisces cancer scorpio and the devil is capricorn so i'm done with that um we're not going to focus on specific signs though so we start off the day with you thinking about an offer of love or an expression of an emotion. Um, you are in a very self-focused energy. I was going to say self-centered, but it sounds so horrible. I feel like you need to be in this energy, which is why I, I chose not to use the word self-centered. It's more self-focused. So if if anybody has been expressing their emotions to you, you're not having it. You just don't even notice it's there. It's like you've got your back turned to it. For the love that is currently in your life, you also have your back turned to that too. You're, you're, it's like you're, you don't want to focus on it right now. It's like you, you have overwhelming things that are going on in your life that you don't want to focus on it. So you try, you start the day off by trying not to not to place an importance in your mind on whatever is happening in your love life. As the day progresses, though, I see you spending some time with some friends. You may be confiding in them and asking them for advice. There may be one friend in particular that you spend more time with um, and gain some clarity from them. Um, you could be getting a lot of clarity from somebody who's a Capricorn because that's directly underneath here, but this is towards the end of the day too, though. Um, so if you have a friend whose birthday, um, was, you know, latter half of December or, um, January through January 20th, I believe, you could be getting advice from them. could just simply be spending time with friends just to unwind and let go of, you know, any kind of burdens. Just having a good time, you know, enjoying each other's company as well. But usually for me when I see that three of cups, it's either celebrating love, which I don't see a celebration here, um, or it's gaining some sort of clarity from friends and family. And since you move from that energy to that of the page of cups, which is a message of love or a message a desire to express your emotions towards somebody else, um, I feel like you're gaining some advice and clarity from friends and family, and then you're moving on to this energy of, you know, kind of feeling loving and romantic, romantic in some way, shape, or form. Now, the date ends with the devil, so, you know, Libra, just a warning here. 
this could be some destructive behaviors that you decide to engage in towards the end of the day, perhaps to help deal with some kind of emotional processes that are going on here. Um, Because the devil could have to do with toxic behaviors such as, you know, overconsumption of alcohol, drugs, sex addictions, gambling, um, things of that nature. Or this could be somebody that you're just very passionate about. And so you're kind of, you know, expressing that in some way, shape, or form. Um, but I feel like this is going to be more you trying to deal with the emotions that you're going through during the day. Because cups have to do with emotions and, and you know, how we process those emotions as well as love and connections with others. And so I feel like you're going to be... You may possibly, and it won't be for everybody, Libra, but you may possibly be dealing with your emotions by allowing some toxic behavior in your life. So, so please be very careful. Um, take Uber if you're driving and, you know, Uber's in your area or a taxi. Um, you know, try not to get yourself into trouble. Watch your wallet, that sort of thing. Um, let me take a Romance Angels for you. Now, on the flip side, Libra, it's possible that you could have expressed your emotions to somebody and they're disregarding it. Um, I'm kind of feeling like this is more you kind of dealing with emotional baggage, shall we say. Getting advice and then, you know, feeling kind of loving and romantic. Yeah, see, I feel like you're not with whomever it is that you have feelings for right now. Because we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Um, I feel like the separation is is either they have ignored your expression of emotions or you are taking time for you in order to figure out exactly what it is you want or the direction that you need to go in in your life. Or you may be dealing, you may be dealing with past hurts and past traumas here as well, Libra. So um, I see that also. Libra, keep in mind that these energies could, you know, go through the weekend. Um, so they may fall into place on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but definitely try to have a good weekend. Be careful of, you know, overconsumption over and uh, toxic behavior in order to numb the emotions. Um, try to face the emotions with boldness instead. And uh, I'll see you guys later. All right, let's move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, how are my Aquarians doing? Hope you are well. Let's see, Aquarius, January 10th, please. January 10th, 2019, Aquarius. Ace of Cups, lovely. Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords. And the Knight of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Aquarius, I feel like I feel like you're still dealing with people not understanding your journey here with the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords is a very selfish energy, um, and it's also very much about deception and betrayal. And you see, we have these people are walking away here, and I feel like you're still dealing with people not understanding your journey. I feel like there's a there's the there's an idea. Or an opportunity coming to you that you can kind of see it's almost like um, you know you see the future of an endeavor that you are involved in whatever that might be for you that could be career it could be love it could be um, a creative endeavor it, it could be um, a dream project it could be 
Oh. Somebody's starting a pool business. I, I know that like is completely out of out of you know anything we're seeing here. I see somebody I see somebody creating a flyer about their pool. It's a pool cleaning business. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, you, you, you probably you probably live you know in a very warm climate. Um, obviously it's not for everybody that's just for one person but um, there's some sort of new new opportunity that you see up ahead you either have this grand new idea that you feel will propel you into making a dream a reality or um, you know it, it's an opportunity that you see that you recognize you're gonna have to do something in order to claim it whatever it is it's something that you're super excited about it, it provides you with emotional fulfillment because you are feeling feeling like this is a dream that you want to create in your life and that that potential to see it become a reality is just leaving you with this really great feeling about your life. And I feel like that's where this Ace of Cups is coming in. I don't feel this is a love issue. I feel like this is, you know, whatever this opportunity is, you just are so excited about it. And it's possible your partner might be excited for you too if you are in a loving relationship or your family. Um, there's people rallied around you that are excited about your movement, but you're focused on the people who don't think you're capable. The people who don't understand your journey. Your mindset is focused on them and it's causing you to be stalled. Um, you may currently be stalled because there's a, there's a time associated with this potential opportunity that is leaving you in this, you know, this point where you're not moving forward at the moment. It, it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic in terms of how it fulfills you, but you're not moving forward and it's causing some issues with you and other people in your life. Don't don't let these people get to you. This is not the first time I've had this this um, energy for you, Aquarius. And uh, you know, you need to believe in yourself. Believe in the direction that you're going in. Remain positive. Don't let those people get to you. Remain positive. Because you're going in a direction that's right for you. It's your journey. It's not theirs. It's your journey. January 10th, please, Aquarius. Rejuvenating rain. Clear the past, heal the present. You know, it, it sort of reminds me of like the water coming out of the cup here. Clear the past, heal the present. Okay. There may be there may be some truth to the things that the people are saying to you in the sense that they may be saying I don't understand why you're going at that direction you've tried it before it's not going to work but yet that's an that's a past direction that's a past path it's not your current circumstances but the experiences from your past and the words that are being said to you may be causing you to be stalled because you're focused on the past. Whatever people are saying to you, it's making you look at something from your past. You know, um, I, I saw a, um image on Instagram today with, uh, was it, uh, it wasn't Edison, it was uh, Albert Einstein. You know, his face is so recognizable, right? And and it said, um, I failed 99 times, or, I, or I, it took 99 times to find the solution, or something like that. Um, so 
whatever happened in your past is not your present. Whatever happened in your past is not going to seal the fate of your present either. And I feel like you're allowing other people's comments related to your past to prevent you from moving forward. So Aquarius, um, you need to heal whatever it is in the past that people are triggering in you so that you can move forward with confidence. So that you can move forward with, without feeling stuck. So that you can have that encouragement, that excitement, that, that emotional fulfillment you're getting from this opportunity. You need to heal whatever it is that people are triggering from your past. Alright Aquarius, that's all I have for you. This, keep in mind the energies could go through the weekend. So try to remain positive. Remain positive and uh, be bold. Be bold. Believe in yourself too. All things are possible, dear Aquarius. All things are possible. Just believe. It sounds so simple, but it actually is. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini. January 10th, please, for Gemini. Gemini, January 10th, please, Gemini. We have the Nine of Wands. Faith, which is the Hierophant. I hope you guys can see those. They blend in so much, the red ones do. Um, And we get another red card, right? Five of Wands. Okay. And the Two of Swords. Wow, Gemini. That's some tough energy. Um, bottom of the deck was the Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something that was no longer serving you. Um, as we st so keep in mind this energy... This energy can um, go throughout a few days, so you could be feeling this over the weekend as well, so just keep that in mind. Um, you start out doubting doubting your decision, so I feel like this is related to not all, not all of the um, signs did I feel compelled to look at the bottom of the deck, but I feel like it's related to you walking away from something and you're, and you're starting to doubt your decisions. You're doubting the direction that you're moving in um, with faith. It's not only having a spiritual connection, whether that spiritual connection is to, um, you know, your higher power or that spiritual connection is an awakening in you, um, current spiritual growth in some area of your life. This card, although it represents faith and although it represents a spiritual path and a spiritual um, focus, I feel like you're doubting yourself and this card is telling you to have faith. This card is telling you to focus on your own personal growth in some area, whether that be a spiritual growth or gaining spiritual guidance in a direction that you're moving in, or it's personal growth through education or bettering yourself in some area to help you to move away from that Eight of Cups energy to move forward boldly into your future, Gemini. Move forward boldly into the future. In order to do that, you need to trust your journey. You need to trust in whatever spiritual belief you have and you need to work on you. Now, I feel like with this Nine of Wands, you're going to recognize that this is not a time for you to give up on the direction you chose to move in. It's not a time for you to turn back and go the other direction. It's not a time for you to, um, you know, ignore your own personal struggles. Sometimes, sometimes that movement forward has to come from us facing 
facing our difficulties, facing our emotions, facing the, the challenges that we have in life and being fearless, even when you can't see the direction that you're going in. And I feel like, Gemini, you're being called to face Face your circumstances boldly. Face them. Face the people that are going to be in your path and preventing your forward movement. Face the people that may argue with you about, about your decision. Your decision is your decision alone. You're the one who lives with the consequences of that decision, whether those consequences are good or difficult. And the people here that are arguing with you, that disagree with the forward movement that you're making in your life, Gemini, you have to rise above that too. You're being called to rise above your circumstances, to face them fearlessly. To persevere and not give up. I feel like people are going to argue and say, you know, you made a stupid decision. You know what, Gemini? It may be stupid to them, but it's not to you because it's your life, it's your decision, and you know the direction that you need to go in. It doesn't matter what they say. Absolutely doesn't. Now, towards the end of the night, you're going to be letting things that other people say kind of get to you, and you're going to be second-guessing your decision. Um, you may be trying to make a concrete decision about something that you stepped away from. And with that Two of Swords, you're going to be feeling very closed off. You're not going to want to open up to a lot of people. You may be kind of going into your own shell and kind of looking at your circumstances in a deeper level. Um, I feel like it's going to cause you to kind of sit still. And, and right now, this weekend, I feel like you need that in order to gain clarity and in order to gain, gain the strength to keep persevering. Um, Gemini, this is kind of a tough energy that we have for you this weekend, but I feel like it's moving you towards something better and moving you towards um, a, a change and transformation in you. It's for your own growth. It's for your own greater good. Okay, Gemini. January 10th, please, Gemini. Archangel Raphael. Provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Okay, this is saying, you know, if you have a belief in, um, you know, archangels, whether you do or you don't, you're going to be getting some help with regards to healing from this situation. And I feel like taking this time for you, although you're going to be feeling um, a lack of trust in other people, and you're not going to be wanting to open up to other people, I feel like you're going to get the healing that you need by taking some time for you, Gemini. Um, healing, it says healing for mind, body, and spirit. Your spirit is definitely struggling with the decision that you've made. And um, mind is dealing with personal troubles. And the body, um, people don't realize how much stress affects them. And it can affect all areas of, you know, your, your health. And so I feel if you believe in archangels, call an archangel Raphael for assistance assistance with the healing that you need. Um, but regardless, take time for yourself, take time for you this weekend to decompress and to gain some clarity on your direction, dear Gemini. All right, have a wonderful weekend. Take time for you, Gemini. We'll see y'all again soon. Bye-bye.